uh, event and eventually we moved into uh, electric vehicle batteries uh, and we chose our niche as the batteries because we realized that uh, they will play a, a major or a key role in the entire ev industry setup uh, secondly after getting into batteries there have been many challenges and many things that have happened that have you know it's it's a standard curve that a new technology or a new industry goes through we have seen that with electronics we have seen that with computer industry when it came up we are laptops and uh, desktops used to hang a lot 20 years ago now they don't do that anymore so uh, it's a curve that we are also going through we are also learning day by day what to improve how to improve uh, we are using cells that are not manufactured in india right now most of the cell manufacturing is based in either uh, china korea or uh, europe so which cells to use uh, most of the india started using nmc chemistry cell then last summer there have been significant amount of fire incidents so they moved to now the shift is happening from nickel manganese cobalt to uh, lithium phosphorus so lfp batteries are coming in now which are less energy density batteries which are more suited for the indian climate so this is just one part of the learning that is there but eventually uh, to understand that what works with a two wheeler what works with a three wheeler we started with lead acid moved to lithium moved to lfp and then now we are introducing uh, smart bms with remote uh, repair capabilities so we are also evolving day by day we will also see char- cells such as fast charging cells coming in in the future so all this uh, evolution will happen over the next 8 10 years the industry is still uh, there's lot of time by you know probably 6 7 years more till the time industry matures and gets into a rhythm so uh, tell us about the uh, milestones uh, achieved so far uh, according to you what were the milestones so in terms of uh, oems uh, currently we are supplying to 8 to 10 top oems in india uh, and uh, over and above that uh, in terms of milestones we have had a revenue growth consistent of about 400% year on year uh, 2019 was a two crore revenue base that we were uh, working at and this year we are likely to close anywhere between 150 crore top line to 200 crore top line uh, we are targeting to be the third largest uh, lithium ion battery pack manufacturer in india by the next 4 uh, 5 months and also the second largest uh, two three wheeler lithium ion battery pack manufacturer in india with through our oem types and our distribution network uh, another milestone has been that we have crossed 250 distributors across india mainly because of our lead acid portfolio for the e rickshaw and the e bike segment uh, lithium ion still has not gone through a stage where it's come uh, the replacement market is open yet but it's likely to open uh, in some time probably a couple of years from now uh what is your business model like so currently uh, we there are two plants one in noida and one in uh, pune uh, the plants uh, we make our batteries on uh, complete job work basis or contract basis through this plant capacities uh, we have leased out the capacities from a certain manufacturer the design r&d of the batteries is ours and uh, based on the our design our r&d team design our marketing uh, strength we design these batteries and distribute it across india and we supply to three kinds of players one is the oems that are scooter or rickshaw manufacturers second are the fleet manufacturing players who are rentals who use this two wheelers and three wheelers for deliveries third is uh, distributors in the aftermarket these are dealers of two wheeler three wheeler vehicles who get aftermarket demand also for 5 piece 10 piece 20 piece etc for lithium batteries in lead acid the market of uh, distributors is far far larger than the oems so the lead acid 90% of the market is tilted towards distribution rather than oem the lithium is 90% towards oem and only 10% towards distribution the reason is lithium life is around 5 years so we are just in the first phase right now and the life first 5 years will get over probably in 2024 25 so we see the distribution market opening up uh, for us after 2024 25 for lithium and batteries and uh, which segment in particular you get maximum traction from and uh, what are your expan- expansion plans so three wheeler and two wheeler is uh, where we get the maximum traction both are equally split the reason is that in terms of revenue three wheeler battery is uh, 
fairly expensive. It's three times the size of two wheeler. So although numbers in terms of three wheelers are small, but in terms of revenue, they, we have an equal split between three wheelers and two wheelers right now. And our expansion plan is to touch uh, ten thousand battery packs uh, by the month of December per month uh, for two wheelers, and for three wheelers, we are targeting to touch fifteen hundred battery packs per month. Um, would you be able to tell us uh, more about uh, your investments or profits? Uh, if uh... so, we are not burning uh, money; we are profitable through this entire journey. We are a self-funded bootstrap startup. is funded through family money part through working capital through debt uh, so currently we have not raised any rounds uh, we don't intend to raise any rounds till we cross around 250 crore revenue uh, once we touch that that is a year from now we plan to invest around 80 to 100 crores in setting up uh, a complete autonomous plant uh, it can be either in partnership with our assembler right now or it can be individual that we'll take a call later but uh, that's an investment that's on the horizon one year from now